Now I got something got to pull that down a little bit. All right, we're heading out of the Long Point Harbor. My uh, Fourth of July break is over. This is the sixth today. So uh, I've got customers again in two days. So we're going to go out and find some fish today. See where they've been in all the wind. We've got a nice day coming today and two more after that. So things will settle down. If we can find fish, uh, they'll be going. I'm on with Mark Engie today. And let's go fishing here at the NCOR videos. Good luck. We're going to see some of Lake in the Woods today. Alright, well we're set up in the first spot now, uh, fishing real shallow, for what I usually do it's 14 feet here. A few other boats in the area they are drifting, the few that are in here, it's early but the boats that are in here are drifting now. We're gonna, we're set up with jigs, kind of keep an eye on them and see what's going on there but uh, they don't want to bite this. We can switch. This is a, a pretty good little walleye. The second bite I've had in a few minutes since we've been here. This is a nice 15 and a half inch walleye, nice and fat. No, leave that plug in there. I'll... <laughs> we've been here uh, not five minutes. like a 19 incher to me. Not 15 minutes and we've caught uh, three, kept two and just had a slot and had a couple of other bites. Uh, the boats are starting to pour in here now. We got here early enough. Uh, all the charter boats are out a little deeper, a little bit further west than we are right now. But I'm uh, pretty satisfied with sitting here in the shallower water. All right, I uh, just finished netting that fish for Mark and then Sat back down. I said, well, I should be getting a bite, but I, so I just checked my bait real quick. Especially fishing with frozen shiner minnows, you want to uh, check your bait fairly often. It was gone. I had a bite while we were messing around with his fish. And if I hadn't checked it, I'd have sat here for a long time cussing about how terrible fishing was. This, uh, then he'd come back, well, this is going to, this is keeps. Huh? Yeah, this one, uh, isn't 20 inches long. Beautiful fish, huh? Yeah, that's nice. Probably the fish that uh, took my minnow before. It is 16 and a half inches. Very nice fish. Oh, it's got three. And, uh, we haven't been here 20 minutes. We haven't been here 15 minutes, I don't think. No. We'll put another bullet in the chamber. I just got that bait. I just shut the camera off, got to the bottom, and had the bite. Made up another frozen shiner minnow. You know the drill, right? My two lucky beads, the three lucky beads on it. Lake of the Woods magic. The last week out here has been windy and stormy. <laughs> I was so thankful that I kind of taken that week off. But now uh, it's, there's uh, plenty of wind out here today, but it's not uh, bad in any way. This is about what you want, actually. 
so uh, if we need to travel a little bit we can just take it easy and no problem and uh, fish seem to like it when there's this much wind Last week or so when it was so windy, uh, we stayed and fished close to home and there's a lot of big fish in there. Plenty of big fish. Lots of little fish, but the ones that you weren't getting were those 16, 17 inch keepers that heck you're looking for. So uh, we are probably 14 miles away from home base here today. And what we're getting, as you've seen, are keepers. And that's it's golden for me, especially with customers coming in a couple of days. Everyone wants to catch some big fish, and here on Lake of the Woods, heck, you can catch big fish anywhere you happen to be. But uh, the trick when it comes around July and into August is finding those keepers. And heck, we've got them in here. I'm loving this. Well, you know, you catch all those little fish here on Lake of the Woods. Well, these aren't all whoppers, but heck, they're keepers. We've got three saugers now, and we have three keeper walleyes or four? Yep, we're three and three, and the saugers are absolutely keepers. We 14 inch saugers, 15 inch walleyes. We've got the uh, two of our three walleyes are over 16, and one is probably 15 and a half. So, uh, very looking for keepers. This is a good spot for that. Good, I think. Uh, not huge. Oh, yeah, man. Another 16 inch. Oh, this is a sauger. Huh. Wow. Ouch. Now we're done with the saugers. The 16 inch sauger right here. Nice fish. Yeah. We've got four saugers, three walleyes, and I'd take more saugers if they were that size, for sure. Something else I want to talk about, too. I told you that there's a tournament here this weekend. There are a lot of boats from all over the place that are coming in here. At this time of the year, uh, people are running around a lot. I like to talk about my clean, drain, and dry initiative a little bit. When you go, especially when you're going to a new body of water, but every time you take your boat out of the water, remember to clean, drain, and dry. Uh, walk around the boat, take the debris off, and we're getting to that time of the year when there is some debris around now. Uh, leaves, weeds, take them off your trailer, off your boat. Make sure you pull your drain plug. Another place. Pull your drain plug, drain plug, and uh, drain all your live wells out. Invasive species is a is a real problem everywhere. The people are going from one body of water to another, and that's happening big time now on Lake of the Woods. Remember, clean, drain, and dry at the boat landing, and uh, you'll be a good uh, Minnesota fisherman, fisherwoman, fisher person. All right. This spot, heck, uh, three weeks ago, and it was great. And it, uh, to me, it's always been a spot that's good for a week or so, then it peters out. But, uh, and then, well, it got so windy, a guy, I couldn't get over here. And I think everyone's plans change, but here, now it's settled down enough. Uh, the boats are back in here, and those fish are still here. They're, uh, the last time I was in here, they were 17, 18 inches. Well, now they're 15s and 16s, but again, that's a keeper. This is the kind of fish I'm looking for. Good fish, but a good kitty. Might be that 18 inch or something. We're looking at that. Okay, it's not 18 inch. Yep, 16. Well, that seems what's in here, Mark, but geez, I'll take those all day. Where the hell is it? This is going to be Mark. Wow, I think he's going to run some drag off us. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is going to be 18 or 20. 20. Twenty-five minutes we've been fishing. We've got nine. <laughs> and there's not a shaker in the box, I guarantee you. But they're uh, 
Saugers are, well, I think we have one 14 inch or the other ones I think are all 15. That was an easy 15 or 16. And uh, our walleyes, I think our smallest walleye is probably 15. Well, I know we don't have anything smaller than that. And the rest are heck 16 inches. It's a very nice, very nice bunch of keepers in here today. Now here's maybe a good question for you. You had a spot where you could sit where you're going to catch big fish in the slot and little ones that wouldn't keep. Or <laughs> if you had a spot where you catch uh, 16 inches, which one would you sit in? I'm going to say one day my answer would be different from the next. I had that bite. Mark just got took and I got took. That's why he didn't come back, Mark. We got thieves out of our hand. Now it's not every day that I've got two spots that I can go and fish. Obviously what you want is one where you catch all 18 inchers and a bunch of big slots. Uh, there's a lot of spots maybe like that, but yeah, I don't know where they are every day. I talked a little while ago about how I'd been here three weeks ago. And this is one of those spots that you fish for a week and a half or so and then, and then they're, they're done. But here we are three weeks later and there's still piles of fish in here. But the water temperature is 66 degrees and Mark said a little while ago, you know, the water temp is still cold. There's a lot more water in here than is normal. So these are still uh, early season spots by the, after the 4th of July, we're supposed to move right to the summer hunts. So I'm glad we came over here again. Uh, what's going to happen in the next three or four weeks? I don't know. It's going to be 80 degrees today, but we're not expecting any really hot weather. And like I said, uh, the way conditions are, 80 degrees isn't going to be real hot out here today, I'll bet anything. So, uh, geez, sure happy that we're sitting on these fish to where we are today. I've been looking for keepers, and here they are. <laughs> this is a good one, yeah. Wow. Just uh, trying to get a little lunch here. We talked about moving slow, slow down. It's uh, 11.26. This is another 16 inch walleye. Boy, I tell you, it's thicker than these in there, but perfect. Just perfect. Oh, good mark. It's 11.08, so we've been here for uh, two hours and eight minutes. Uh, I've heard there was bug hatches. There is no bugs hatching in the water. The water is clean, clear, well, as clear as Lake of the Woods gets. There's no bugs floating around. And I've seen one black fly in the bottom of the boat. So this is a, this is a huge win. We need two more keepers, and then we can, we can call it good. This is... This is me being really happy with the way things have gone here this morning. Finding keepers is a is a uh, challenge a good lot of days. And all it took here was to backtrack a couple of weeks. We were fishing up a little shallower and uh, those fish that were here, they're still here. It's, uh, 10 minutes to noon, we need one more fish. We need one more, it could be a walleye or a sauger, either one. That, uh, boy, it's been a nice morning in here. Hang on a second. I'll show you what we got. All right, here we go. This is the saugers, nice ones. Walleye's nice one. One of these is a sauger, I think. Here, a really, really nice fish we got in here today. Just, just exactly the kind of fish that, that I've been looking for and uh, wasn't finding during all of that wind. So, with customers starting to come up again, I got to figure this, and I'll tell you, your early season spots, don't give up on them yet. The water temperature's not uh, warm, water's deeper everywhere, but uh, you got spots you fished in early June, I think you'd stay with them for probably a couple of more weeks in here in July. On a uh, moderate breeze day, this is beautiful. We're going to sit in here for a while and get that one last fish, but uh, a great day on Lake of the Woods. I, uh, very, very happy with the way things have gone here today. So, with a big smile on my face, I'm saying, I'm Kurt Quinnell. We'll catch you out here somewhere soon, I hope, on the water. <laughs>